Hello everybody, welcome back, C-Ray Tech here. So, in today's video I'm going to be building a new 3 inch quad. I've been flying the um, Hobby Mate Sparrow 145 quite a bit lately, and it's been doing great. And Beta FPV was so kind to send me over their 140 millimeter frame, so a huge thank you to them. Uh, Hobby Cool had sent over some parts that I've been anxiously waiting to get put together. Um, I've got a Hack RC 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter uh, 20 amp 401 ESC stack, so that's going to be pretty cool. That'll do 2 to 4S. I'm going to be using the Wolfwick TX 02 uh, power adjustable VTX. Be pairing that with the Foxeer Predator Micro 2. Sent over by Foxeer. Thank you, Foxeer. And let's see what else. I've got a little FR Sky receiver that I'm going to be um, taking off an old build. And I've got some 1306 31,000 kV motors. So I'm pretty excited. About, not 31,000, 3,100 kV motors. Sorry. So I'm going to be putting this together and I'll take you guys along for the ride. And to start, uh, the first thing that I did when I took it out is I assembled the cage, which was pretty simple. Um, it comes in, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts and some screws. So you've got these um, aluminum, this aluminum cage here, and then on the outside you've got some carbon fiber, fiber and you just screw those there. You've got your camera mount screw hole here. Um, this is for your antenna back here. Let me get that back in focus. Back here, which is pretty good. So, um, this makes this adjustable and it's aluminum, which is kind of cool. So, I'm excited to see how this thing fares. Um, there's another piece of carbon fiber that goes right here. And I lost it somewhere on my desk. I don't know where it's at. So, if I find it, it's going in the build. If not, maybe another day. So, this is what I did to get the cage together just to make sure the camera fit. Um, one thing to note, if you can see this, let's get that in focus, that lens sticks out. So, I'm talking to a buddy of mine who's got the same frame, he, there's not much um, coverage there, so uh, I'll see what, see how this goes. But that's one thing that I found with the frame so far that I think might be a little bit off, but hey, what can you do? <clears throat> so. Let's get down to the nitty gritty of the stack here. I've got a big jumbled mess of wires and stuff everywhere, so sorry about that. Yep, like I said, it's got a 20 um, amp 4 in 1 ESC. Here's a little package for it. We've got a, yeah, this one runs BL Heli, it does D shot, does the full, full gamut of everything that you need. So, um, I did mount one motor, so you can see here this is the Hobby Mate um, 1306 31,000 kV or 31,000 and 3100 kV motor. So this will be swinging 3 inch props. Um, I think I'll be using some, I've got some GemFam props, probably using these clear Hokies. Um, these things are pretty good, I like them. So. Let's see. So yeah, I got one motor on. I was just making sure everything fit okay. Um, now I'm going to be getting ready to mount the ESC. And I've already kind of built the stack. You can see here. Um, I just put the standoffs and stuff on it. So I've got the, that situated. So I'm going to go ahead and screw on these here. Where's my screwdriver? So I'll screw this on first, and then I'll get um, my motors installed, and then we'll get them all soldered up, and then we'll get everything connected and go from there. Start building the stack, get the flight controller installed, um, get our receiver installed, figure out how we're going to mount our VTX. Oh, another thing too I wanted to note 
is in this build I got a UFL to I think this uh, RPSMA connector. So I'm going to be using this so I can still run one of the Lollipop antennas by Fox here because those have been working really well. I've had a really good luck with these. Um, they're pretty durable. I did actually lose one in the field though. I ripped and broke this off and I, I don't know, I just didn't notice it. I must have just dropped it on my way off. So I'm hoping that maybe I can find it next time I go. But that's been the only thing and it was really just my fault. But good antennas. Check them out. Um, so, okay, we got this mounter down there. So we're good to go there. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out, make sure my wires are long enough and everything's good there. So it looks like I got plenty of extra wire, so should be fine. I'm going to be using duct tape to cover this here too, so that, that way I don't have to worry about the wires getting damaged. And I'm just going to plot the rest of these motors, and we'll get those installed. So. This one that's gonna go here. And this one that's gonna go there. And I'm going to be using the M2 star 5, so those are 5, I think they're 5 millimeters, and then the screws, shorter ones in the package anyway. So if you decide you want to do this build too, that's what I'm going to be using. Um, I haven't soft mounted any of my motors yet. Uh, I'm not sure how necessary it is. I haven't had any problems. I think I've heard that it's just not as common to do anymore, but I could be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. So, let's get this uh, motor screwed on real quick here. Alright, so let's get our motors. I'll set it set up here. So the first thing I want to do is I'll bring my motor wires back out of the way, tin up all these pads here. Soldering iron should be getting hot here pretty soon. Adjust the camera right over here. So, and focus for you guys. I get a nice clean bubble of solder on there. That's one side done. Might as well get the other side while I'm here. Now these wires are already pre-tinned, but some of them I see are a little frayed. So I'm going to reflow those, make sure those are good. We're looking good there. Hopefully, I'm sure. Okay, yeah, you guys should have been able to have seen that. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep these the same length. I'm not going to change that. From there, I'm actually going to take them once I get them soldered on. I'm going to tuck them underneath. All right. So let's get these motor wires soldered up. Like I said, I'm going to leave them long and I'm going to go ahead and tuck them in. So I'm going to. Reflow this solder though. 
trim these back. Make sure all the wires are together. so they're not so long. All right, should be good to go. Let's make sure this is good and in focus. Let's get this last, let's get this motor and solder down here. Alright, looking good. Look at those nice tug and they're pretty good. So let's get this one installed, soldered together. Same thing to this. Tend up all these. So we got this set up there. Let's get this installed. Solder down. Yeah, this is going to be a really easy build. I like these 401 ESCs. They make for, like I said, a very easy build. So we'll, we'll square away all these wires. We'll have, we'll have it looking a lot better when we're done. So let's go ahead and get these last sets of wires tinned up. Heard my shaky hand. Tinning the center wire on all three of these motors. The first one wasn't like that. to trim them so they're about the same length as the pad so that they sit right across it on the solder joint. <coughs> so they are a little bit short but that's okay for me.
So, let's take a look at those solder joints. Looks good. I'll we'll go ahead and flatten and clean these wires up. Like I said, we'll get these. What I like to do is take them all. Kind of tricky, but get them all positioned where I want them from here, and then I start folding them and pushing them underneath the pad so that it ends up looking like. Ooh. Let's get that in focus. Sorry, it's looking like that. So now we'll take a little bit of our electrical tape. this bad boy up. So you see that's all nice and clean there? Looks good, huh? Alright, let's do the other ones. Get those cleaned up. Taped down. Let's get this last motor squared away.
motors. ESC. Looking sharp. Oh, that stuff's good. So now, get all this crazy stuff unplugged. This is going to go right here just like that. We're going to get our ESC plugged in here. Make sure I have the right one. So now, get this. Stack semi installed. This one's a little, no, that's the same size. Oh, my mistake. Let me go through all that. Alright, so now I'm going to install some screws and nuts here real quick, just to hold it down so it's in place. I gotta figure out all my wiring harnesses. So, let's see where we got the little one here. Let's go for that one. So we're looking pretty good here. So at this point, I hope it, okay, yeah, I'm still good. Just make sure I didn't confuse things. Cause this has gotta go right here just like that. So we're gonna look like this when we're done. So I look pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop for a minute and get some to eat, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. So stay tuned. All right guys, welcome back. Um, it's actually been a few days. Um, I got busy with the holiday and everything. Um, one thing that she missed was I put on my XT30, um, and I think that's about it. Got everything else ready to go. Now what I'm going to be doing is just going to connect the camera, make sure everything's working okay, <clears throat> um, and then I'm going to actually disconnect the wires, trim them down, make every, make sure everything looks good, and then we should be good to go. Um, from there, let's see, I've got, I'll have the camera installed, VTX installed, um, I think the last thing will be just to get my receiver squared away, and then we should be able to 
um, plug it into Betaflight, start playing with it, get it all set up, and then hopefully be able to main it today. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I got kind of a cold this morning, but or not cold, but stuffy nose. So, um, first things first is I'm going to look at how I'm going to wire this. Now, this HackRC stack, we'll go over the wiring here. So, so let me double check something. Okay. So we've got a ground, a 5 volt, video out, video in, ground, and 5 volt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power the VTX, which is then in turn going to power the camera. I'm going to see how that works. If I don't have any problems and everything looks good, then I'll keep it. If not, then I will power the VTX and the camera separately. So I'll run the VTX off this and the camera off this. We'll see. So we're going to go, I'm going to make sure um, these are all 10. We're going to slap them together real quick. <clears throat> and then we should be good to go. So I'm going to borrow these here to power the VTX. Oh, I forgot to trim this off. I love that more and more companies are using this silicone wire. It's a lot easier to strip, a lot more durable. Especially in the winter time when it's cold. Um, <clears throat> I've noticed that the ones that aren't Silicone will, will crack fairly easily. So we'll go ahead and set this up so we can get ready to <clears throat> solder this together. Got shaky hands bad today. <clears throat> like I said, this is just rough soldering just to make sure my theory is going to work. <clears throat> All right, so that's done. So I got power to the VTX now. <clears throat> so video in. Video in. And last but not least, let's pop 
power our camera. All right, <clears throat> so let's double check our work. We've got our power. We got our power coming in to the VTX, which is then powering the camera. We've got our video in and out. So I think we should be good to go. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and grab a monitor. Did I put my tactic monitor? <clears throat> I'll use the bear hook. So I've got an antenna around here somewhere. I want to pop that on real quick. Bear with me just one second. I'll get this hooked up. <coughs> All right, wish me luck, guys. watch doesn't have a scan on it. There we go. Getting closer. All right. So, we're looking good. We got video. We got OSD. <coughs> Pretty slick. So now that that's good, go ahead and unplug this. And we should be able to shorten these wires. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and cut away. I'm going to shorten all these wires, get this thing put back together. Um, I'm not going to show you guys how I'm going to do the receiver because there's really not going to be anything fancy. All I'm going to be doing is wiring it into a three pin, one and a quarter pitch Molex. Well, actually, I think it's four pins for the port. And then I'm just gonna wire that in, and then from there, we should be good to go. So, um, hang tight, I'll be right back, and then we'll see this thing all finished.